everyone and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for watching the videos so far and thank you for commenting and subscribing and liking the videos it means the world and my aim is to get up to 500 subscribers um, by Christmas that would be absolutely awesome and I reckon it will help you guys if you know other TTCers people who have sadly miscarried people trying to gender sway or people who just want a little chit chat making friends breastfeeding tips recipe tips all that sort of thing let them know about my channel and see if they like it Anyway, as you all know, I'm TTCing at the moment. Sadly, after a miscarriage, I waited for my negative pregnancy test to come and then I started trying. That's what my husband and I wanted to do. I was advised sometimes it's best to wait for a cycle, but people do go on a negative test and that's what we decided to do. Just go with how I was feeling, see if we could sort of get the ovulation by the way that I had my temperature raising, um, my cm things like that so i went with that and we did baby dance as you know three times in february shortly after the miscarriage once i'd finished bleeding i obviously let my body settle for a couple of days and then we tried we tried on the 4th of february the 7th of february and um on the 11th of february which i believe to be my ovulation period i sort of timed it by you know i was feeling egg pain one side it got a little bit deeper a bit more intense my CM got a bit more creamier and I thought I was ovulating and obviously I didn't know 100% as you guys know because I hadn't had a period and normally I'm a 28 to 29 day cycle so my most peak ovulation point would be around day 14, day 15. I normally get that dull egg pain around day 12, day 13 then I start getting the creamy egg white consistency of CM and then usually I know that's my time to sort of start trying. As I'm trying for a gender sway pink, because as you know, I've got five children so far, so this is going to be baby number six, and I'm lucky to have three boys, two girls, so we are just doing it for fun. There's going to be no gender disappointment where I'm concerned. As long as I'm healthy and the baby's healthy, that is all I care about. But because I successfully did it in 2016, by doing the Shettles method, by doing the calcium and magnesium diet, and also by... Um, doing the new moon the chinese gender calendar and different things i'm incorporating it all again just to see as an experiment whether it actually was fluke or the lap of the gods or whether it actually worked i also have reflexology done but as i'm in my two week way or my tt seeing i have to be careful that it doesn't promote a miscarriage so usually when i'm in that two week way or when i'm indeed right on tt seeing I normally abstain from all reflexology. I would just have some chill out time with Jan, my holistic therapist. We might do the crystal readings. We might do an Indian head massage or maybe a little back, neck and shoulder massage, that sort of thing. She will not touch any of my feet until I get that negative pregnancy test. And then I'm like, right, I've got a couple of days and then I'm gonna start trying again. Then she will do some reflexology to get all my fallopian tubes going, all my ovary and uterus lines that's all in your feet. And I believe that works. But at the moment, I am on, let me let, I am, right, March the 5th, so I'm day 13 of my cycle. So, as you know, I sadly had a miscarriage. If you don't know all of my story, please subscribe and go back on my journey. Um, it was a sad time. I was around gestation six and a half, seven weeks. I think it was seven weeks, um, but you can't be spot on with something like that because I hadn't had a scan. And when I had a scan, I'd miscarried already. But yeah, my dates and everything and my midwife said I was around seven weeks. Um, it was a sad time. I went through all the emotions and back on track. We tried and I had a negative pregnancy test as I came on Aunt Flo. Um, yeah, so I've been timing my cycle. I keep my diary, that's what I'm looking at now, and I page everything. I do symptom spotting, absolutely everything when I'm trying to conceive. I just think it's such a good little Bible to go back to, especially this time when I've miscarried, um, or when I think I'm pregnant, I might look up how I felt in 2016 when I was carrying my little girl, and you know, and see what happens. But as you know, um, I've been trying for a gender sway girl so the idea is to stop baby dancing two days before ovulation at least two days before ideally three to two days um, this is only a theory nothing's proven but because the female are stronger survivors but fatter and slower swimmers the idea is you baby dance right up until about two well three to two days before ovulation 
and if the acidic environment is correct in your vaginal fluids and the seed is strong enough and healthy enough it will stay put there three to five days very occasionally seven days but normally sperm can live three to five days whereas the male sp sperm are smaller faster swimmers so they normally beat the in the race they are the faster ones to the egg so if you have intercourse bang on ovulation usually <laughs> Theory has it that the faster little swimmers get to the egg first. But you, you see, if you've planned it, gender sway pink, you've done the deed two days before or three days before, you've got that little fat little one waiting going, hmm, 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 I've been here a couple of days, ha, beat you. That's the idea. Nothing's set in stone and nothing's proven like I keep saying to you guys. And if you are desperate, like myself, to get pregnant, um, or time's not on your side or you've just you know you've got a husband who works away and there's only certain times you can do the deed it might not work in your favor um, waiting around and I'm starting to think do I really want to not do the baby dance bang on ovulation and risk not getting pregnant for another month because as you guys know I've been trying since September September we tried we weren't successful October I abstained because it was boy on the gender calendar November we tried and weren't successful December I luckily fell pregnant but sadly miscarried in January January a little sporadical and February we sort of gave our best shot with no period and it didn't happen so here we are in March right so I'm going to bring you up to date now so how I've been feeling really upbeat and positive and we have been really doing the baby dance it has been brilliant so I'm going to take you right from cycle day six so cycle day five um I finished my period uh very light on day five day six nothing and we did plan to baby dance day six but we were shattered so we didn't bother day seven we baby danced I didn't have any cm no ovulation pain nothing that said I was ovulating but I wanted to get the ball rolling which is good it's great to have intercourse every day if you can leading up to ovulation but if you do it every other day and then stop two to three days before ovulation that's really great chances for a girl gender sway but I would say if you're not bothered what gender it is you just want to get pregnant I would just personally do it as and when you can morning noon night whenever you can and do it right up until the day after ovulation because that egg survives 12 to 24 hours but you're, ov you're ovulating like for a it takes like 72 hours like as soon as you get that positive on the ovulation stick you've got 12 to 24 hours before you ovulate so you've really got to be doing it those three days to sort of tick the boxes to definitely get pregnant so anyway day seven we baby dance day eight no cm didn't baby dance day nine which was friday the first we baby dance my cm lots of it but very watery so not the fertile cm that you expect when you're trying done an ovulation stick as you know negative which I totally expected and I was totally bummed because my little girl didn't get her space at school so that was a bit of a bum. Hello, do you, I'm just chatting about my baby dancing. Who've done a poo? I'm gonna have to change a nappy so I will carry on in a second. Give me five. Bye bye. Oh, sorry about that. Right, okay, so yes, yeah, so day nine, we baby danced. My CM was lots and watery. Ovulation stick negative. Day 10 was um, very watery CM, no ovulation pain at all. So I didn't bother doing an OPK because I thought I don't ovulate like that. My, like I said, I'm on a 28 to 29 day cycle. It's only been varied when I've given up breastfeeding years and years and years ago when I'm, I lost my dad sadly I know that my period went up the spout for a month then but I am regular as clockwork and also I have the reflexology to sort of keep that all balanced and I have a healthy diet and everything so I am going with a 28 to 29 day cycle covering my back by saying normally day 14 day 15 is my most peak ovulation don't usually do OPK sticks but I have done not just for the video but just to sort of track it after the miscarriage and because I am gender sway and pink so it's a good idea to know when it's peaking sorry I'm a bit out of breath right okay so day 11 my CM was still watery on Sunday but I did do an OPK and I don't know whether you can see very very light line and I did say on my video I would expect a light line probably day 11, day 12, and it progressively getting darker. I'm expecting 
a darkish line day 13 but day 14 15 i want it to be the same control color the same color as the control line well day 11 for me that was quite good i'm thinking there's something showing it's a squinter but there's something there that to me says thank you god everything's working um we didn't bother baby dancing so so far as you know we've done baby dance on day seven day nine so we've missed day 10 and I'm lying completely. We baby danced on day Sunday. We did baby dance Sunday. The reason I haven't written it down is it was a morning. <laughs> it was we were trying to get something in in the morning because I wanted to do it every other day and Aaron knew that he was gonna have um, an early start Monday. So he said, he was sort of not up for it Sunday, but we did do it. So yeah, so we baby danced day seven, day nine, day 11, okay? Then yesterday was March the 4th and the reason I tell you I haven't got them written down on Sunday and I know it's TMI but it's a baby channel it's TTC and if you don't want to listen don't subscribe but yeah Sunday it was a really early morning one like about three in the morning because where we've got children that are all awake at different times we've just got to grab the moment when we can so yeah sorry that's TMI but you guys who've got older children or bigger families or small houses must know and we have got just that we've got a 13 year old who doesn't drift off till quite late upstairs and yeah a little girl who tends to get up quite a bit in the night so yeah so we've definitely ticked the boxes so far yesterday was Monday the 4th of March my husband's birthday he had the day off so it was a really nice day although it was a bit stressful in the morning because the children were upset because they wanted to be off with him and god knows what it was really nice and chilled we went for a little look around ikea had a bit of breakfast um had a really nice day and we don't often get that because at the weekends although we're all together it's very hectic because we do sport and football our saturday is predominantly taken up with training until about midday then by that time we have lunch maybe have a family walk and that's about all we get in on a saturday so it's really nice to be able to just have me and Aaron having a chat we obviously took the baby but with a two-year-old or just a two-year-old it's so much easier than having all of them yes she wants everything in sight like can I have that cuddly teddy bed no can I have I just literally packed some raisins a banana some mini cheddars some water we went out we had a little bite to eat she had her little snacks it was a really chilled out afternoon really great we stopped off for a cost takeaway it was really nice loved it so i felt really chilled yesterday and like i said in my last video so good to even i know it's stressful times with mobile phones high flying jobs god knows what but it's so good even if you can grab half an hour a day just where you have a little bit of tlc or a bit of me time to carry a healthy pregnancy I don't need to be medically trained to tell you that. That is just friend to friend. Um, if I can grab just a couple of hours a week of me time, whether it's a nice hair mask that I keep on for half an hour on my bed or this video that I'm doing for you, it's just a bit of zone out time. And as you know, life is chaotic, whether you've got children or just family commitments or work issues, it's busy. So yeah, it was nice yesterday, really chilled out. And I did an OPK. And so I'm day 12. Do you know what? Yesterday, I didn't feel any egg pain, but later on in the day, about six o'clock, I thought, do you know what? I feel a little bit niggly, a little bit niggly on my left-hand side. Well, I look back on my diary, which I say is really, pardon me, good to have, because I thought, well, I had pain on my left-hand side last time. So I don't know whether every month you do alternate your ovulation. I'm not sure. But according to this, but then remember i didn't ovulate properly properly did i i just felt mild faint egg pain february the 8th on my left slippery wet cm and that's where i went from and the egg pain got progressively worse so yeah it was on the left but this time last night about six o'clock i did an opk it was probably about five o'clock i did the opk and that was my one yesterday so again it's really the same level can you see that i'm really sorry it's probably the same level of darkness as the one before it's there but i'd say it's not it i'd say that's still a squinter if i had that on a pregnancy test i'd say yeah there's a line but i'd need to confirmation but again my line i'd say is probably equal to the day before 
maybe a very slight shade darker and at about six o'clock whilst I was getting the children ready for baths and bed I thought mm, I feel a bit niggly on my left side not sure if it's egg pain or not but we're day 12 so it might be something happening and I usually feel egg pain around day 12 a bit niggly day 11 sometimes but day 12 I definitely felt niggly now it brings me on to today oh and yesterday when I went to the loo in, I was in Ikea, so it was about 11 o'clock. I went for a wee, and again, TMI, I'm so sorry, but CM is what we talk about, because that is what makes your egg, it makes the sperm travel, and it makes the egg have a pregnancy, and it keeps, obviously, all the bacterial infections away. So CM is good stuff. I know it's embarrassing to talk about, but anyway, when I wiped, it wasn't <laughs> really slippery, but it was a different consi consistency. I popped a panty liner in yesterday and it did capture a bit of that creamy, creamy consistency. So I thought, do you know what? That tells me I'm gonna be ovulating um, soon or getting maybe a better test. So once I had that symptom at 11 o'clock and did the OPK, I think I did the OPK just before supper, so around five o'clock and then six o'clock, I thought mm, maybe that is a little bit of egg pain. Anyway, today's day 13. Um, ovulation wise, okay, I am feeling a bit CME, same as yesterday, not super duper slippery, but it is different consistency. It's not that watery CM like I had a few days ago and it's not completely dry like I had a few, you know, like four days ago. This is the stuff that I think, do you know what, tomorrow or later on today, it'll be that super slippery slidey egg white. So definitely the CM's on the up. I just did this ovulation test. This must be probably 15 minutes old now because I did it just before I started filming and I haven't looked at it yet and I'm just looking at it now. And look, that's a much better line, isn't it? Can you see? This is exactly like textbook what I was expecting. I don't mean that smug. I, I'm sorry if that sounds smug. I'm just sort of trying to tell you how it should be for me. That is good. So the... The control line's the really dark one, and then my one's the candy pink next to it. So, day 13, I'm starting, I've got definitely a lot more CM. My ovulation darkness is there on the line. To me, I reckon if I test later on today, or maybe tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we're at tw it's 12 o'clock now in the UK, and like I say, it's the 5th of March, cycle day 13. Okay, I did that OPK probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. So that is perfect to me. That is how I wanted it to be. I was thinking to myself, please God, let it be a little bit darker than what it was yesterday. It's much darker. We baby danced today as well, which is brilliant because I wanted to do it last night and Aaron was like, oh, I'm so tired. We've been trekking around shops and I've done the school run and blah, blah, blah. And he was absolutely shattered and I did sort of think, oh, I tried to badger him a little bit last night, but I thought it's not gonna be exciting. It's quite methodical what I'm doing at the moment. And he knows I'm on a mission. And I don't think it would, I, I sort of said to him, should we have some birthday fun? He's like, no, I'm really tired. So I didn't wanna badger him too much. So I did want to do it on day 12 because I wanted to stop, if you remember day 12, because I reckon I'm gonna be really fertile between 13 and 15. Day 13, 14, 15. But I didn't want to risk not getting pregnant. So this morning when the opportunity arose, I took it. Um, the only thing I will say, and again, please switch off now if you don't hear my. The only thing that worries me is obviously with the shettles, it's shallow, no O, very methodical, sort of take your mind off it, think of England. Um, the o and, of, and not to do it too close to ovulation. That's the key. The thing is, I think when you do it in the morning, the baby dance, you've got to think like I do. I can't lay there all, all night long and let nature take its course. I literally have to think, oh God, I've got to get up in a minute, go to the loo, have a shower, get ready for school, da, da, da. I've got so much to do in the morning. Whereas at night, you can afford, and I know this is so cringy and TMI, but they do say having the baby dance at night is a little bit better because you can pop a panty liner in, pop a pair of knickers on, and you can sort of sort of not get up for quite some time maybe all night long if you're lucky so you know if you haven't got children to get up to or you don't need a pee it's quite good chances that things are taking and you know where it's a girl and you stop so 
before ovulation. I do think it ups your chances doing it more at night because then you can afford to lay there a bit. Whereas that's the only thing. Day 11, it was morning and today was morning. And it has been like laying there for about 15 minutes and then getting up because I, I was joking going, I should put my legs in the air. And he said, I'll go make your cup of tea. Just sit there for like 10, 15 minutes. I'll go make the drinks. Um, and yeah, don't get up for a bit. And I didn't, but obviously, like I say, had my quick cup of peppermint tea and then I was diving out of bed, toilet, shower, getting on with the day. So that is the only risk about, I, I would recommend if you can, nighttime, I think is better. Anyway, whether that's me just being, myth, you know, whatever, I would say in an ideal world, nighttime's better when you can sort of cuddle up, go to sleep and fall asleep for a good four or five hours and not have to bother addressing down below but anyway we have ticked the boxes i'm dead happy so as you know just going back on it just to recap we've baby danced day seven day nine day 11 and day 13 so every other day and now i would say by tomorrow i am going to be ovulating so i am praying to god that there will be a little swimmer in me now whether it was from two days ago or today I am praying that I have ones that last three days to five days in me and I don't care if it's a boy or a girl but chances are the girls are stronger survivors. The boys tend to last more than 24 hours whereas the girls are more 72 hours. That is the theory but if your vaginal fluids, fluids are more alkaline that means if you've had a more sodium potassium sort of diet, um, if you've baby danced and it's been deeper maybe a different position maybe you did have a really fun time for big o you know it might be that your vaginal environment's more alkaline they favor boy swimmers so you know it might be anyway that's the science behind it so i am just hoping that i've eaten the right things and everything's all set but as I say, I don't care what I get. I just pray to God that I'm pregnant this month. And the tarot card saw it. And I have got such a good feeling. And I asked my crystal. I've, I've used the crystal twice since the last video. Um, asked it questions. And it definitely does say I will fall this cycle. But I have looked back on how you read the pendulum that I have. And you have to not be too emotionally charged with the questions. So I have had to sort of breathe in breathe out stay calm and ask real direct questions and yeah it does see a pregnancy so i'm holding on to everything so that's my little update guys um no news other than that but everything's ticking by cm's good everything's good and obviously the opk you can see there really getting there i reckon by later on today or tomorrow that will be dark and i will take a picture of it tomorrow i will be on day 14 tomorrow of my cycle which i believe will be peak ovulation for me as i'm a 28 to 29 day cycle new moon is tomorrow so all you people should be feeling a bit more upbeat anyway whether you're ttcing or going for a bad time or just hectic new moon tomorrow which means really nice irons in the air positivity around and my gender calendar for girl is Thursday the 7th. So yeah, if theory's right, maybe that little swimmer will sit and wait there nicely till Wednesday, Thursday and get fertilised. That's what I'm hoping. So happy, um, happy Tuesday to you all. I'll do an update and thank you all for watching. Please like, thumbs up this video and please subscribe if you haven't already and baby dust to you all. Thank you, bye. Hi guys, I just thought I'd really quickly tag on um, this little bit just to say um, I've done an OPK and it's getting darker and darker. It's now six o'clock in the evening from the same day, the fifth. But I just thought I'd tell you my egg pain started and it's the right hand side and it's quite painful now. It's been like getting worse by the hourly. I shouldn't be this happy about pain, but I just thought I'd give you an update. So, this is getting progressively darker and the pain is on the right hand side so all's good for ovulation i think come tomorrow morning i will be properly there so i'm not going to risk baby dancing anymore thank you for watching again and please subscribe bye